Hey guys, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and I'm here today with Oliver and Isaac who are back here. And what are you guys hanging out in? Teepee. The teepee. Isn't this a great place to sit down and read a book together? Yeah, no, no, really. He's silly. We have a teepee here and I thought it would be a great way to encourage um, sitting down looking at books together because that's something that I love to do with the kids. So yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our TP and how we have used it to create a preschool reading corner. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you are setting up a preschool reading corner is to um, get some kind of tent or TP or something that will help your preschooler feel semi secluded and uh, comfortable in their reading space. Um, this tent, this teepee actually, is from teepeejoy.com and it's made out of a really nice fabric. It has four wooden poles and you will see that it also has two windows that you can open or close, whichever your preschooler prefers, and the front ties back. So it's, um, it will let in a lot of light while your preschooler is in there looking at their books. You also want to make their space comfortable. So we have four pillows in our TP that are from tpjoy.com. You can use any pillows that you would like. Something for them to sit on, lean against, and just feel comfortable. Uh, the mat is also from tpjoy.com and I like that it matches the TP perfectly. It's really cute and um, it's fun for the kids. I also recommend that you keep books either inside your reading corner or on a bookshelf beside your reading corner. Books your kids will be interested in and they will love to just pick them up and sit down and look through them. Okay, since I am sitting here in front of our new TP that we are using as a preschool reading corner, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you some books from our personal library that are my favorite preschool books. These are books that I highly recommend that you own in your own library. If you have little ones that are between the ages of, I don't know, two and six. So uh, yeah, I have several different preschool book lists on my blog and I'll go ahead and I'll leave a link to all of those below. But let's get started and let me show you some of the things that we have in our own personal library. So this is a big book that has been well loved. It is the Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh. Now this is not the Disney version of Winnie the Pooh. This is the original version. Oh, it's upside down. This is the original version of Winnie the Pooh. And of course, you can't be able to read this in one sitting. It, it could take you months to get through this book. But these are classic stories that children love and children will remember into adulthood. And this is one book that I do recommend that you own. Okay, another one is Are You My Mother? This one is on several different uh, preschool book lists, and it's a really good one. One of our favorites, Where the Wild Things Are. My boys especially love this book. It's a lot of fun to read, too. I have Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. This is another really great story, and it has a great... Um, message about perseverance. So it's also fun to discuss this one with the kiddos when you're done reading it. Little Bear. This is actually one of the first books that I had my um, my oldest child read on his own. So he read it out loud to me. And this is a, um, let's see, an I Can Read book. So it's great for beginning readers. And it has several different little uh, Little Bear stories in it. And it's cute and a lot of fun to read. Okay. I love Beatrix Potter stories. And we have several different books. I have like one big huge book that has all of her stories in it. And then I have um, little books that uh, it's, it's perfect for your preschoolers hands. They could hold it themselves and read it. And then I have a couple bigger ones like this. So anything by Beatrix Potter, I highly, highly recommend. 
a rainbow fish. This is another great story that has a really great message. And um, it's a lot of fun to look at because he's got shiny, sparkly scales. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to get into explaining exactly what it's about. Um, I will leave links to all these books down below. And if you're interested, you can go check those out and see if it would be something you would like to add to your personal library. But this is one that we really love and recommend. Another, uh, this is a Dr. Seuss book, Horton Hatches the Egg. And this is also about perseverance and that darn Horton as he sits on the nest. And it's, um, it's a really fun, cute book to read, too. I have Make Way for Ducklings. This one does not have color illustrations, but I think that's kind of neat. I think it's fun to expose your child to different types of illustrations. Of course, I have to mention the little engine that could. If you'll notice, several of these books do have themes of perseverance. So, you know, teaching our children that they can do things that are hard. They can do things that they think they might not be able to do. And a lot of these books have those messages. Madeline, which is a favorite with my daughter. I really like this one too. I remember it from my own childhood. And this one, um, I think I got this recommended from Ambleside Online. I don't remember. But it's just called Poems and Prayers for the Very Young. And this book I found on Amazon. And it's like from the 70s. Yeah. It was given to a little boy in 1975. And it's still in really good shape. So um, it just has different cute little poems that you can read to your child. Like before they go to sleep. Or if you do poetry tea time with your kids. This would be a great time to pull out this book too. And the illustrations are really nice in here as well. Okay, so that's just a small sampling of the books that I like to read. To my preschoolers and my older kids also enjoy them too. So, um, like I said, I will have links down below uh, for everything that I've talked about. And I really hope that you will um, be motivated to read to your children and to get them interested in reading books too. So that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. I do homemaking and homeschooling videos. So that's all for today. I will see you guys next time.